I'm Matthew Sherlock and I live in Devonport. Devonport's renowned for its beaches, its cafes, and its teenage pregnancy rates. <laughs> Three times the national average. Represent! So, so, so yeah, um, in Devonport you'll find a group of people commonly called the Devo Mums. They're never caught dead without their iPhone 6, their latte, and the horrific regret of marrying and having kids in their early 20s. <laughs> They're also into the paleo diet. What's the paleo diet? Well, it's disgusting, that's first, but... It basically means you wouldn't eat any food that wasn't around the time of the cavemen, which is kind of stupid. I mean, there's a reason why they died 10,000 years ago. Not a very smart idea. So I've been on it for about two months now and it's changed my life. <laughs> I hate my life. It's basically just a whole lot of nuts, which as a gay man I should enjoy. See, I am gay. Anyone got a problem with it in the audience? No? Well, you should roll twats. Um, honestly, we're all really judgmental. Like, there's so much pressure to be skinny and pretty, you'd think I'd have to be a flamingo. Do I look, do I look like a flamingo to you? My mum told me to put that joke in. Just kidding, she has standards. But yeah, back to gay people being judgmental. The other week, I heard a gay guy say, you know what? I wouldn't date a guy with ugly knees. I don't know about you, but how do you achieve perfect knees? Imagine the infomercials. Hey, you! Do you sit at home hating the way your knees look? Do you want a knee that would make Beyonce turn a shade of green? Well, with the Knee Circle Pro, it's a contraption that you need. Bad puns aside, Devonport is actually an incredibly diverse place. I mean, you have your rich white people, you have your... Anyway, um... Yeah, something you should know about people that live in Devo is they're all really, really dumb. No, we don't burn people at the stake for understanding basic science. No. Um, the thing is that a lot of people are anti-vaccination, which seems as about thought through as Natalia Kills attacking, attacking X-Factor contestants about originality on a copy of an English TV show which is a copy of an American TV show, while she's looking like Lord Farquaad in drag. <laughs> Bad drag, yeah. Um, listening to their arguments is like listening to someone sing in the shower. It's fun for the first few minutes until they ask you why you're in the shower <laughs> and how you got into their house. <laughs> But yeah, their logic is a bit flawed. They think after watching a couple of YouTube videos, they're web certified to be doctors. Just because I watch a YouTube video on surgery doesn't mean I can do surgery. It, it really doesn't. <laughs> Anyone in the audience got a spare kidney? That'd be great. Not for me, for a friend. <laughs> um, now, my routine's coming to a close, so I thought I'd end on a story. It's quite a sad story, so get out the tissues. A few years ago, there was a girl in year 12 who dropped out, which is always quite sad, because we're going to go without an education. Well, lucky for you, I'm a stalker, so I kept tags on her. <laughs> well, right now she's living in America. She's got two Grammys. Eleven million dollars. She's Lord. <laughs> That's Devonport for you, even our dropouts will end up richer than you. <laughs>